previously on Silent Gaming Bunny. After fighting vigorously through the ruins, we finally come face to face to Wither Fang, who is also the Lady of the Forest. After a peaceful discussion, I decided it is best to bring Zithrian to the Lady to see if we could persuade him to end the curse without any more harm being caused. We managed to persuade Zithrian to talk to the Lady, which revealed to us that only Zithrian can end the curse since he created, Zithrian refused to end the curse which led to a battle however he quickly gave up as he was bested, after a heart to heart with the lady, Zithrian agrees to end the curse, allowing the werewolves to return to their human forms and curing the blood of the infected Dalish, the process of lifting the curse took the life of not only Zithrian but also the life of the lady, of the forest. Now, our journey continues. Hello. I am a bunny playing Dragon Age, Origins. I hope you enjoy this and are okay with my voice. Let's play. For the sake of brevity, because this alone took 40 minutes, I had conversations with my companions, first we start off with Sten, Sten, and I discussed how I was going to end the blight, I told him I was there to fight it and not impress him and he approved. You see that, Morrigan, approval. Next, I talked to Bothan and looked through his wares. Then I moved on to handing out the gifts to make space for my inventory. Apparently depending on the gift it'll trigger a cutscene. Flowers? For me? Oh, they smell lovely. And there's something so familiar about them. These, these were my mother's flowers. She would sprinkle the dry petals amongst her clothes. Oh... They smell just like her. Thank you so much. Approval. At this point I decided I would talk to Morrigan, try to work things out. No joke, my conversation with her took about 20 minutes, I spent this time trying to get to know her, learn about her past, things she enjoys, ask about her relationship with her mom, you know, the usual stuff. Long story short, I was trying to court this gothic mommy. And then it got far enough where I had to save, because I was going to make my move. Yes? I would like to speak with you, Morrigan. We're in camp, so tis as good a time as any. I'm going to kiss her. What's this? <laughs> tis a rather odd discussion you seem to desire, leaning in so closely. Oh, do you object? Not unless you stop. We did it, we kissed the gothic mommy. I then spoke with Leliana and I wanted to know more about the vision she had, she explained that she had a nightmare of darkness consuming everything, and then when she woke up, she headed towards the gardens, a rose bush that they had, that was presumed dead, had flowered one beautiful rose, and Leliana took that as a sign. I spoke with Alistair to see how he was holding up after losing Duncan, we discussed him and how he was like a father to Alistair, we then moved on to the topic of possibly holding a funeral for him in High Ever, where Duncan is from. I wanted to talk to Sten more to understand what he was doing and why he was there, I don't think he liked my prying so I had to change tactics. That's right, I bought gifts. Yes yes, I know, cheating. You have my thanks. You have my thanks. You have my thanks. I could get used to this, you know. I could get used to this, you know.
You are not quite as callow as I thought. That is unexpected. It worked. Let's pry. I learned that Sten was there to investigate the blight, but he didn't arrive alone, he had camped with his war brethren near Lake Callanhood, but they were attacked by the Dark Spawn. Unfortunately, Sten fell into battle and he was awoke by farmers. He had learned he lost his sword, and when he asked the farmers about it, they knew nothing of the sword. He panicked and struck down the farmers, so he put himself in the cage because he believed his weak mind was dangerous. I told him I would help him find his lost blade. New quest acquired. Now I organize my quests to see what we should do next. I think we should visit the mages next, if I'm correct, that's right in the area of Lake Callanhood, so maybe we can also do Sten's quest while there. Who should I bring this time? I'll still bring Morrigan for healing, but maybe I should bring Leliana because of all the locked chests we found near the Dalish. And of course, Rabbit. Indeed. Another bandit fight? Oh, cut scene. I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged for a... a solution. With your leave. The Antivan Crows send their regards. An assassin? Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. So while traveling we will also be hunted down. By crows. Still a little fight I guess. This might be a good time to see how Leliana fares in a fight. Leliana was shooting the last wolf but she wasn't doing much damage, maybe she just needs better gear and to be leveled up in her archery. I didn't have any gear to give her but that's alright, let's move on. What is the name they have for mother and I? Apostates? Truly, it boggles the mind. Now that I think about it, I should have brought Sten. What I think I'll do is, I'll complete the circle quest and then work towards Sten's quest. You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. I'm a Grey Warden seeking assistance from the mages. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. I have these documents to prove it. Yes. Oh, a Grey Warden seal. Aha! So you're claiming to be one of those. You know, I have some documents too. They say I'm the Queen of Antiva. What do you think of that? I mean... 
You don't look like a queen, shouldn't you wear a crown and a gown? Don't question royalty. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go. My patience is running thin. Now I suggest you take me to the mages unless you want to get sent back home to your mama in a stretcher. Uh, is that bad? Look, I'm uh, just trying to do my job. I'll take you right now, just like you wanted. That's what I thought. Won't have to worry about your mother not recognizing you. Come along, I suppose. I'm just trying to do my job, well so am I. I think I'm still annoyed by the werewolves when they only wanted to talk after I killed 50 of them and spent 500 years trying to get to them. Ridiculous. And I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent, is that clear? Yes, sir. Now we wait and pray. What's going on here? We're dealing with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. I cannot leave. I'm a Grey Warden, here to fulfill my duties in defeating the Darkspawn and the mages play a role in that. I am weary of the Grey Warden's ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn, but it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men, and the mages are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. The circle is lost. The tower has fallen. Demons. I'm guessing just like the Dalish the mages will need help too. Well, can I do anything to help? I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. Wait, the right of annulment? The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. Neutralize the mages? A.K.A. commit murder? Wipe out innocents? There must be another way. If there was, do you not think I would have chosen it? There are only abominations left in this tower. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. Then I will do it. I will look for survivors and I'll do my best to clean the tower. I assure you, an abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. At some point or another I will perish, but I swear by the Maker that I'll try to save people before I do so. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one, until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. Of course I have to try and save the mages, not everyone is a lost cause. How did this even happen anyway? My knowledge of demons in this world is very little, I'm sure we'll right, learn more right. as we continue this quest. This is too cruel. I would not subject even an animal to such a terrible fate. I'll get on it. Point of no return. This kind of looks like a place where all of my brothers and sisters would sleep. So many beds, so many bunnies. Allow me. I could do that for you. Finally. We've finally unlocked a chest. Right, all right. I could do that for you.
she sent his butt back Stop to hell. Right there. Take another step, and I swear I will strike you down where you stand. Easy. I mean no harm. I am Wynne, Mage of the Circle, and these children are under my protection. Who are you, and what is your purpose here? Have the Templars opened the door? Speak quickly, I'll have no games. I can't believe they were going to kill children. Don't worry, I'm here to help the Circle. Then you do serve the Templars, as I feared. Do they have the right of annulment? No, but Gregoyer expects it to arrive soon. So Gregor thinks the Circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. Then we should get going. We're wasting time here talking when we could be eliminating the abominations. If you are here to kill abominations, let me help you. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Of course, I will gladly help you. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Unfortunately Gregoyer said he will only back down if he hears from the first enchanter that the tower is safe. Then our path is laid out before us. We must save Irving. Very well, let us set off. You want us to assist this preachy schoolmistress? To rescue these pathetic excuses for mages? They allow themselves to be corralled like cattle, mindless. Now their masters have chosen death for them, and I say, let them have it. What the, Morrigan, what if you were one of them? Wouldn't you want to be helped? I know I would want to help you. <laughs> if that were so, why, I am sure I would have flung myself from the top of this tower years ago. I will allow neither mind nor body be subjugated in such a dehumanizing fashion. Morrigan, how can you say this about them? They're still human. Look at how they live. Servants of the Chantry. They lack respect for themselves and their own power. Why should I respect them? That's enough, Morrigan. There are children here and no one deserves to be talked to this way. They already have to be over constant watch from the guards, from the Chantry. They didn't get to grow up in the wilds like you. Don't be cruel. Have it your way. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. When are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. Do not worry. We won't be long and we will fix everything. Your confidence is refreshing. Though you should make sure it does not blind you to your weaknesses. If you are ready, let us go end this. I guess Leliana will not be joining. Indeed. I'm more familiar with Morrigan so I think it's best this way. Figures. Here we are. <laughs> I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. You did what you had to do, Wynne. It made me very weary at times. But I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's save the circle. All right. Be on your guard. Damn, this thing is ugly.
I guess their bodies explode, I should try to move away from them when they die. I can't lie, Morrigan's reaction to the situation has upset me a bit. Owain's room is near here. I hope he's alright. Please refrain from going into the stock room. It is a mess and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. What are you doing here? I was trying to tidy up but there was little I could do. You're really calm given the current situation, aren't you scared? Of course. I am defenseless and if I ran into one, I would surely perish. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. Oh Wayne, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stockroom is familiar. I prefer to be here. How are you remaining so calm? He is one of the Tranquil. The Tranquil do not have emotions. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. Wait, who? Nial the mage. He came here with several others and took the litany of Adralo. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. Nial was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. Whatever is at work here, I'm sure we can handle it. We should find Nial. The litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. What are we doing? Now, better than later. Please, please don't kill me. I don't know if I can keep you alive. It seems like you might be one of the blood magic users thingy. No, no, please. Now's better than later. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Yeah, should have kept Lelian up. All 
right, all right. Now's better than later. The closet is trembling. Someone is in the closet. Please don't hurt me. I'm no one. I'm not important. I just don't want to die. Oh, Maker. You are not going to die. Pull yourself together. Th thank you. Uh, I suppose I can breathe easy now. Godwin, mage of the Circle of Ferelden, at your service. So, how did you end up in that closet? There were demons everywhere, blocking my exit. I decided that the best thing to do in that situation was to hide and be very, very quiet. I just really want to be somewhere safe. I think I might stay here for now. Maybe go back into my closet for a little while. I've killed most of the demons coming this way, you could head back. And go where? The Templars have locked the door. I'm just going to stay here and see what happens. Do whatever you think is best, friend. Thank you again for saving me. May we meet again in happier, less life-threatening times. I guess you could say that, he wasn't ready to come out of the closet. we get out, we're gonna need gold. Aldred said. Aldred's not here, is he? Keep your mouth shut and we'll be right as rain. Stop it. I think I'll oh, yeah. oh, oh, get on it. It's your to die. Ah. Ah. Sweet, I got a little kill animation. I'll get on it. Right. Let's see what you're made of. Books, books, books. Is that all these mages do with their time here? I guess that's all they can do with their time here, Morrigan. Look, I found a black grimoire, Morrigan would probably like that. What? You found Flemeth's grimoire? I guess. Ever since we discovered the condition of the Mage's Tower, I had wondered if it might be recoverable. But I had yet to speak of it to you. How fortunate that you found it on your own. You have my thanks. I will begin study of the tome immediately. So, does this mean I can get a kiss goth mommy? I suppose something is deserved for all your efforts, is it not? Nothing like making out while there are abominations around us. I do not intend to squander this opportunity to learn more than Flemeth wished me to know. This should be... interesting. Brownie points. I wonder how on earth Flemeth's grimoire ended up in the Magus Tower. Can Everyone's I get you a ladder gone. so you can get off my or back? Dead. I fear the worst. Sorry, Win. I could barely hear you over how rude Chad is. <laughs> Why can't they dare stay in the ground where they belong? It's one of these guys again. No teleporting, hopefully.
can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Again. Got it. LOL. I was wondering when they were going to explode. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? I see enemies ahead. Seriously. I will fight you, I know. A desire demon. I could really use a good stun, rather. So you can get off my back. Good boy, even if it's a little late. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Well, this doesn't look good. This guy is a little harder to beat down. Sweet. Leveled up. Got it. I do feel like we're going through the tower a little faster than when we went through the forest. It is most intriguing. Corruption not unlike the Darkspawns. Perhaps they are related. Everything is just as you wanted, my knight. Our love and our family is more than you hoped for. Let this man go. He's done nothing to you. Do you hear something, love? It is nothing, my darling. Just the door. I will get it. The children have finished supper. Tuck them into bed while I see who it is. Don't be long. The children will want to kiss you goodnight. I will be but a moment, my pet. You are intruding upon a loving, intimate moment, and I dislike disruptions. I'm not really sure if I would call this loving, you have him trapped within his own fantasy. Something that isn't real. 
I have given him what he always wanted. Where is the harm in that? To deceive someone is to harm them. All emotion is intangible. You cannot see it, cannot grasp it. But it is normally caused by something real. Real events, real people. What you've done to him is... is abhorrent. I saw his loneliness and longing for a family that loved him. Apparently, you can get your desire and still suffer horribly. Tis truly a lesson for all who consider marriage. How long will you keep him in this stupor? Will he know it when his body fails and death claims him? A short, blissful existence is preferable to an interminable one of misery. No, he doesn't deserve to be trapped. Let him free to find his happiness. What happiness? He has gone through life empty, resentful of his vows. You would return him to this? I want nothing from you. I have what I need. All I ask is that you leave us alone. So you can rob him of his essence and then rinse and repeat with another poor soul? I don't think so. Then you leave me no choice. Help! There are bandits at the door! They're going to murder the children! They will not get past me! <laughs> Why can't the dead stay in the ground where they belong? Maybe if we kill the demon first we can free this man. I'll get on it. That's finished. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, she's dead but he's still fighting us. There's nothing we can do now. I will fight if I must. Now's better than later. All right, all right. Wipe them out. Visitors, I'd entertain you, but too much effort involved. What have you done to the man on the floor? He's just resting. Poor lad, he was so very, very weary. You want to join us, don't you? Wouldn't you like to just lay down and forget about all this? Leave it all behind. This is ridiculous. You cannot expect me to rest on a floor sticky with blood. Resist. You must resist. Else we are all lost. Why do you fight? You deserve more. You deserve a rest. The world will go on without you. Uh oh. Did I do something wrong? Hopefully this is just part of the storyline. Okay, it's part of the story, but this place, it looks like Ostagar. I definitely think this is a good spot to save and maybe even end the episode. We're on the 40 minute mark and I have a feeling this is just the actual start of saving the circle. Thank you all for watching and have a good one.